Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a respring button on your iPhone 5 or iPod Touch 5th generation or basically any iPhone or iPod running iOS 6. Now obviously this does not require a jailbreak because there is no current jailbreak for the iPhone 5. Now if you guys caught my previous video, which was how to add applications to newsstand, just like that, this is basically the same concept. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave the link down in the description. Be sure to watch that. So this is again to make a respring button to just simply respring your iPhone 5. So as you can see right there, I just click it, it resprings my device, and voila. And I have no battery left, but uh, as you can see after I did the respring, it did reset my newsstand, so it removed all those applications out of my newsstand. So this might be a reason why you want the respring. Also in a video I'll be doing on how to change the carrier logo, you're going to definitely want a respring button to be doing all this. So I'm going to show you quickly on how to make this button. So as you can see, I have a folder within a folder and that's what causes the respring to happen. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this folder out of here and move it over to the third page on my springboard. This is the same concept as newsstand. So how this is going to work is you're going to want a folder on the second page of your springboard. It doesn't matter what applications you put in there. You can simply remove them when you're done doing this. Go ahead and click the home button. And then for this uh, second folder, this is the folder that's going to be going within the first folder. Make sure you put in an application that you don't care about using because you won't be able to use it because it's going to cause a respring. So keep that in mind. I'm just using voice memos because I never use that application. So now we're basically going to be doing the same thing as the newsstand glitch. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that glitch. If you guys, again, haven't seen how to do that, be sure to check the link in the description on my video on newsstand and it'll show you how to do that. So here we go. So there we go. Now we got it, the glitch in wiggle mode, we're going to go ahead and open up that folder and drop this folder in there. And now I can go ahead and take out these applications that I do use. And there is going to be your respring button, so I'm going to go ahead and rename this to respring, just like so. Click done, and that's basically it, there's your respring button. And again, I will show you that it does work, just go ahead and click it device resprings and that's pretty much it uh, pretty simple just a cool little glitch that you might like to have on your iPhone 5 or iPod touch fifth generation and like I said there is no current jailbreak for the iPhone 5 or iPod touch fifth generation but if you guys want to be notified when the jailbreak is released be sure to click that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you throw me a thumbs up that does help me out a lot also if you have any questions you go ahead and comment down in the comment section this has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.